बहुजन क्रांति और बहुजन नायकों को समर्पित दलित दस्तक का 2024 का शानदार बहुजन कैलेंडर आ चुका है बुकिंग के लिए दिए गए नंबर पर व्हाट्सएप करें या ईमेल करें आई ऑब्जर्व ए पैटर्न इन डिप्रविंग एलिवेशन अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू दी डिजर्विंग एडवोकेट्स फ्रॉम मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज इफ द कैंडिडेट इज यंग देन इज यंग एज इज जनरली साइटेड फॉर डिनाई हिम और एन अपॉर्चुनिटी to be elevated as a judge of the high court if he is a, if he is around 50 then he will not be elevated till he cross 55 years of age only to be told later that he was not elevated because he has crossed the age limit but the both these are no barriers for the candidates from the privileged sections and families belong to the few communities only while the con while the constitution exhorts us to take every care to ensure that the bright among the weak to be protected and nurtured to ensure that the constitutional governance develops its roots at the ground the reality is diametrically opposite the opposite this every obstacle is placed in their way to ensure that they remain suppressed most unfortunate the people who have no faith in the success of our constitution constitutional governance had lead us from these legal bodies most of the time there are maybe exceptions but they are mere exceptions i see a pattern this and a calculated conspiracy behind this while it is good and op optimistic to hope that the people heading our coliseum would recognize the importance of participatory democracy up which the judiciary is key and uh, integral part we cannot keep on hoping time we raise our voice against this systematic injustice and force the heads of the coliseum to realize the importance of plurality no we are not asking for any arms or seeking anybody's mercy let us place our achievement in public space tread there let them explain how they are how their choices are more competent than us the ability to understand the pain of the people and the ability to comprehend to gravity of the grip should be important benchmark in assessing a person judicious mind if we could succeed in getting this trait the basic qualification for becoming a judge then i dare to say only those who knew the value of the anger dignity and labor will remain in prey i urge this august body to think in these lines year fourth the bar and bench are the wheels of the chariot of the justice unless both function in harmony the cause of justice cannot be advanced the bar and bench both cannot be offered to talk in terms of i and you both will have to be talk in terms of we then and only then we can say that we can think of providing a justice for the teeming mil, teeming millions of the nation it should be our constant endeavor to see that our relationship is strengthened day and day out there is no gain saying that no individual lawyer or otherwise should be permitted to take this system for granted the lawyer and judges contribute to a will well builded judicial machinery to place one will even marginally above the other will change the excel of the constitution automation i am also expressing my sincere gratitude and deeply thankful to our honorable chief justice sri alok rawde ji and our our honorable judges for their kind gesture for allotting the site for installation of the dr b r ambedkar statue at our court premises on this republic day it is time that i pause this last observation the bar and bench are the function functional platform for meaningful execution of the constitution the dialogue between the bar and bench needs to be kept at least to minimum level of the quality i hope that long history of the bar and bench courtesies shall remain forever so that we can concentrate on solving the hurdles providing a justice to the people thank you one and all thank you